purpose of this video is to kind of give a general summary of photosynthesis using the diagram that you can see here found on the website. And uh, we're going to leave off some of the details that we have already covered, but this is a good diagram to know going into an exam. And so what I'd like to do is just kind of make a diagram from scratch and then uh, take a look at a website and get some of the details from that. But uh, first to just be able to make this diagram from, from scratch, there's two kind of good ways to start off with that. I'm sort of making this uh, stack of thylakoids that we would label the light reactions. Uh, these are taking place on the thylakoid membrane. So that's why I've given you a um, kind of an image that sort of represents that. All right, so there's our first part of the diagram. We also uh, want to include an important part of that, and that is sunlight. That is obviously necessary for plants to do photosynthesis. And so as that uh, sunlight comes streaking down, it's going to strike the... Uh, photosystems on the thylakoid membrane and we'll see that in the animation so here's your photon of light coming down to energize the light reactions all right other things that we want to include in here i will um, call, make these little uh, kind of rounded off boxes these will be parts of the equation for photosynthesis and so we need uh, Water, first of all, we all know plants need water, sunlight, water, and the last part of that would be CO2. All right, those are the things that are on the left side of the equation. So these are the things that are going to be going into photosynthesis. Oops. I'm going to put this down here. So we have H2O going into the light reactions. We'll take a look at that in just a second in the animation. And uh, coming out of this, which is what I wanted to put here. Coming out of the light reactions as a result of this water going in, direct result of this water going in is to split that water into oxygen gas and hydrogen gas. The hydrogen is going to stay in the system. Oxygen can come out and we can breathe it. We also have a couple other things going on here. Let me double check my diagram. Oops. I think I did. These guys are over here. Um, so we have a couple other things that are being traded off between light reactions and dark reactions. And again, the the whole purpose of the light reactions is to supply the dark reactions with the, with what they need. And those are these two things here in the middle. And so you can see where these are going. Sorry, I'm not good at freehand arrows, but it takes too long to make them. The shapes. So coming from light reactions are two very important things. ATP, which is, of course, cellular energy. And the electron carrier... NADPH, I'm going to use a colon to show the two little electrons that are being carried. And then uh, the recycled forms of both of these, the recycled form of ATP is of course ADP, and the recycled form of NADPH is NADP. Oops, what happened? NADP plus. And then just kind of also here because there has just to kind of show you where everything is going. There are of course other things included here. Another phosphate group in a hydrogen or proton. I should have made that H plus. And those are the things that just kind of have to be represented there because uh, they exist and need to be stuck on there to complete kind of the cycle here. And so we have these guys uh, Kind of complete the cycle here. These are going back to the light reactions to get made again. Just the recycling of molecules. And most importantly, the electron carriers 
and the energy molecule ATP, which of course is recycled as ADP, which will pick up a phosphate and then become ATP again here in the light reactions. We'll take a look at the details of that in just a little bit. We have uh, our bottom box here is the dark reactions, which are also known as the Calvin cycle. And this is, of course, taking place in the stroma, which, in case you've forgotten, this is kind of like, kind of, like the cytoplasm of the chloroplasts. So this is just chemi chemistry, just chemical reactions taking place. All right. And so, of course, starting with the light reactions, making things for the dark reactions. Those things are ATP and NADPH getting recycled back our NADP plus and ADP light reactions using light and using those chlorophylls so I'll color them green dark reactions no light and so to finish this off dark reactions we'll take a look at exactly where these things come into play. They're taking in carbon dioxide and they're getting rid of, or sorry, dark reactions are making, I shouldn't say getting rid of, they're making glucose. Which is of course C6, H12O6. Sorry, I'm not subscripting, but that's not as easy in paint here, but you get the idea. Glucose. The most important product of all of this, the most important job of plants is to make their own food, their autotrophs. And so unfortunately we have to go through a lot of steps to get there, but that is the end result. You have light reactions supplying the dark reactions with what they need to make glucose going through a lot of steps to get there. And so to relate this all back to our animation, here's a plant cell. And instead of playing this for you, you can play this on your own. Here's the website in case you can't find that in your notes. Here's our website. So we're going to zoom into a chloroplast. There's that thylakoid that we just saw here, or those thylakoids here. Obviously, this is a stack of them, and I'm leaving out the individual lines just to kind of make room for writing. But there's one stack of thylakoids called a granum. And on that membrane is actually where this is all taking place. So right there, it's going to zoom into that membrane, but obviously it's taking place on all the membrane here of all the thylakoids. So again, here's the membrane of the thylakoid. Here's inside the thylakoid, which would be obviously this darker part here. And then outside in the stroma, which is labeled here, which is kind of like, again, the cytoplasm of the chloroplast, is out here. So the sunlight is coming in from outside getting into that leaf and actually hitting those cells that are containing those chloroplasts and the most important parts the thylakoids so there's the photon of light it's going to strike photosystem 2 it's going to excite electrons and those electrons are going to leave and so they need to be replaced by water so here's water coming in and oxygen being made there's the water coming in here and the oxygen that's getting made from that right here Right, so the electrons get passed, hydrogens get pumped, who cares about the names of all these proteins, hydrogens get pumped, that creates a gradient. This hydrogen gradient is going to allow ATP synthase to do its job, and that is to stick ADP and phosphate, inorganic phosphate, right, it's called PI, inorganic phosphate, together to make ATP. All right, and notice this is going off to the stroma, okay, here's that right here on your diagram, ATP getting made by the light reactions from ADP in phosphate. Alright, and then that ATP is going to go off to the stroma, dark reactions. I forgot a parenthesis there. Alright, so that's that part. The other part is the creation of electron carriers, which we need the rest of uh, light reactions for. Uh, second photosystem, which is photosystem 1, unfortunately. The photon comes in, re energizes the electron, gets passed off to another. Enzyme ACE, reductase, it's reduced, getting electrons. And it becomes, uh, returns to NADP plus, and of course a hydrogen 
two hydrogens into NADPH. Right? And that's this part over here on the right side. NADP plus and hydrogens get stuck together using those electrons as like little magnets to make an ADPH to go down to the dark reactions. Stroma, I guess up in this picture. Hopefully you get the idea. So there's all that taking place there. Uh, something else I want to show you really quick. Those dark reactions that we're talking about here. It's just a bunch of chemistry, but we do have a website to watch that happen. And just in case you can't find this quickly enough in your notes, I will copy and paste it here for you. Oops. A little more visible. All right. There's the website for the dark reactions. We can pause that if you need to copy that down. All right, so here's our dark reactions. Again, this is kind of the same diagram here. Photon of light coming in for the light reactions on the thylakoid membrane. That's what we just saw. No light here for the Calvin cycle, a.k.a. dark reactions. Kind of happens and depends on who you ask. Three or four or five stages. Here's one with, that represents uh, animation with uh, three stages. First stage is taking the CO2 gas and attaching it onto a molecule called RUBP which instantly breaks up into molecules called PGA. We don't care about the names of all these guys. So that's the CO2 coming in, which is down here. CO2 comes into the dark reactions, and eventually that carbon will get transferred onto a glucose molecule. Here's stage two, converting these PGAs to G3P. These are very similar molecules to what we saw and very similar processes to what we saw in cellular respiration. So here's the formation of G3P. Again, it takes energy and electrons. So there's, these are the energy and electron molecules from light reactions in order for the chemistry to take place, which you just saw. And then stage three is the regeneration of these G3Ps into RUBP. It takes some more energy. Thank you, light reactions. Now we have the things that can be recycled so that the cycle can continue. And as you can see down here from stage two, one of these uh, G3Ps will come out and eventually get stuck on to make glucose. Here's a three carbon molecule. That will eventually get made into a six carbon glucose. The rest of the stuff stays in so that the cycle can continue back to here. Right? So what you just saw there is this part of our diagram. Dark reactions taking in CO2 and spitting out glucose most importantly. So this kind of gives you a whole look at the, basically all the most important parts of photosynthesis using this diagram. Again, if you can recreate this diagram, keep in mind where the arrows are going. That's the most important part. Is, you know, after you have all these details down, you put the arrows wrong. Like, keep in mind where the detail, uh, where the arrows are going. And uh, know, remember that uh, these parts out here are the uh, equation. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. These parts out here are the equation. What goes in, what comes out. You saw these backwards on cellular respiration. You've pretty much just got this all figured out if you can recreate this on the exam.